What's going on guys? I am the Walrus Jedi and welcome to the next installment of the History of series. This time it is the History of Cancelled Star Wars Comics. So if you like this kind of video, then please consider liking and subscribing and hitting the notification bell for more of these kinds of videos in the future. And uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's just get straight to the comics. So number one, 101 Necks, created by James Anderson and published by West End Games was a short comic that potentially could have appeared in an issue of Star Wars Adventure Journal, but Dark Horse Comics was the only ones to have the license to Star Wars Comics, so the Bungo and Rusty strips, which this is a part of, were stopped. And in this comic, Bungo Bung is to take care of 101 dangerous neck puppies in order to smuggle off a Tatooine, but this is more difficult than he thought. This is clearly a Star Wars version of 101 Dalmatians. So, next is Al Williamson Newspaper, A New Hope Adaptation, created by Al Williamson and published by LA Times Syndicate. It's an unpublished newspaper comic strip adaptation of A New Hope. Al Williamson drew two weeks' worth of Star Wars dailies in 1978 that were never published. Plans with this strip were dropped by Lucasfilm. Uh, number three, Biggs Darklighter, Blaze of Glory. Created by Andy Mangles and published by Dark Horse Comics slash Tops. Was to be a one-shot comic to be in an issue of the cancelled Star Wars Galaxy magazine. In it, Biggs leaves Tatooine to go to the Imperial Academy. Not long after that, he and some other classmates stage a mutiny and become fugitives. He then joins the Rebellion, where he eventually meets up with Luke, his longtime friend, and they both go on the Death Star run, and yeah, that's where Biggs is shot down by Darth Vader. Number four, Boba Fett vs. the Empire, created by Tom Veitch and published by Dark Horse Comics, was to be a comic miniseries. World Devastator designer Umac Lath betrays the Empire and Boba Fett is sent after him. Number five, Bounty Hunters. Created by Andy Mangles and published by Dark Horse Comics, a one-shot featuring the Bounty Hunters from Empire Strikes Back. So Dengar, Bosk, Forlom, Zuckus, an IG-88. I guess they decided to leave Boba Fett out of that. But, uh, well, Boba Fett gets a lot of love in lots of stuff, so. And then the next few are a bunch of Bungo and Rusty stuff, so. So first up is Bungo and Rusty are Castaways, created by James Anderson and published by West End Games, and it was canceled because of uh, Dark Horse having the sole license for comics. And in this, the Bungo crash lands on a stranded unknown planet and with limited supplies and no rescue in sight. And then seven is Bungo and Rusty get the record. Uh, created, James Anderson published West End Games, and it's canceled for the same reason as the other ones. Bungo and Rusty join a smuggling race with Unga Galunga, to see who can haul cargo the fastest. Eight, Bungo and Rusty join the Rebellion, Part 1. Uh, created by James Anderson and published by West End Games. Cancelled because of the previous ones. Bungo and Rusty join the Rebellion after Nay and Num intercepts their cargo. And then Nine is uh, Part 2 of that story. And, you know, created by James Anderson and published by West End Games. Cancelled for the same reason as the other ones, and it obviously would have continued the previous storyline. 10. Bungo and Rusty on Strike. Same creator, same publisher, cancelled for the same reason. After protesting Soro Sub Company, Bungo and Rusty are the targets of Mafut bounty hunter Klebora Foon. 11. 
Dark Force Rising comic adaptation with artist Gil Kane, created by Gil Kane, artist and Kevin Nowline as the uh, inker, and published by Dark Horse Comics, and it obviously would have been an adaptation of the Timothy Zahn novel. 12. Empire's End, the full version, created by Tom Veitch and published by Dark Horse, originally to be six issues to end the Dark Empire trilogy. 13. Ewoks, number 15, created by David Menek and published by Star Comics or Marvel Comics. The Ewoks series was canceled after 14 issues, but it is rumored the 15th was in preparation. 14. Exiles of the Force, proposed by Jim Bake and published by Dark Horse, and was a four-part comic series. Luke and Leia come together to defeat a new Force-related threat. Very vague. 15. Invasion, alternate storyline, created by Mike Richardson and Randy Stradley and published by Dark Horse. Dark Horse originally proposed the idea of an evasion storyline to Lucasfilm, but Delaray took the idea and went in a different direction in the New Jedi Order books. Nam Anor is an advanced scout of extra-galactic invaders who carry a bladed weapon which allows them to fight Jedi. 16. Jedi, Barisafi, created by John Ostrander, writer, and Jan Dursema, pencils, published by Dark Horse Comics. This was to be a planned one-shot featuring Maryland Jedi, Barris Afi. The storyline was changed and became Show of Force, Star Wars Republic issues 65 and 66, which focused more on Mace Windu and company. It was felt that the storyline was a better fit for Mace Windu rather than Barris, so it was changed. 17. Jedi Council, created by unknown published Dark Horse Comics. A planned series of 12 one-shots, each focusing on a council member. And the Jedi Council, Arts of War, replaced this. Jedi to be featured, Yoda, Mace Windu, Yaddle, Eeth Koth, Yariel Poof, Sacy Tin, Adi Gallia, Oppo Rancisis, Evan Peel, Kiadi Mundi, Plo Koon, and Depa Balaba. 18. Jodo Cast and Dengar, Praying for Time, Boba Fett, Twin Engines of Destruction prequel. Created by Andy Mangles and published by West End Games slash Dark Horse. Originally a short story commissioned for Star Wars Adventure Journal, but was cancelled due to West End Games going bankrupt. Later, it was proposed as a two- or three-issue comic miniseries. And in it, Dengar and Jodo cast, a Boba Fett lookalike, reluctantly team up to take bounties from the New Republic on some pirates. Then Shiza, another Mandalorian, may have been involved in this story. 19. Marvel Comics, Star Wars number 107 and beyond created by Joe Duffy, writer, and Cynthia Martin Pencils, published by Marvel Comics. The cancellation of this series was unexpected by the creators, and so 107 needed to be redone to serve as a fitting conclusion to the series. Here were some of the ideas for more issues. Return of Suprema, Return of the Tagiko family members, and a longer Nagai storyline. 20. Marvel Comics Plot Ideas, created by various, including Randy Stradley, and to be published by Marvel Comics. Luke is pitted against an Imperial Royal Guard seeking revenge for the Emperor. Han and Chewie are lured to a ship graveyard by a creature using distress beacons to get new prey. This creature has very limited psychic powers, which it uses the fears of its victims to cloud their minds to make them easier prey. The creature captures Han, and Chewie charges in to rescue Han, and then his thoughts are assailed with images of humans mocking and discriminating against him. 
Luke, C-3PO, and other characters meet a simian-like species with a mass gambling addiction, and it was declined when asked to rewrite to include hoojibs. 21. Prelude to Rebellion Number 0 Created by Pete Jaynes, writer, and John Nadau, and Jordy Enzyme, Pencils, published by Dark Horse Comics, December 1998. And it was an online comic book. 22. Spectre of Thrawn, created by Timothy Zahn and Michael A. Stackpole, published by Dark Horse Comics, was a miniseries which would have released between the Two Hand of Thrawn duology novels, a dead enemy of the New Republic is seemingly about to be brought back to life. Thrawn's legacy haunts the galaxy as plans are put into place to bring him back to life. Set on Merlist, a university world, and would revolve around a campus protest, Wedge, Cornhorn, and other major characters would have appeared as cameos or flashbacks. It would have followed Ayala Wasiri and a new character, Releki Itkla, daughter of Elagos Itkla. They would have hosted a seminar about the dissolution of the Empire and the growth of the New Republic. 23. Star Wars 3D, issues 4 through 7, with Spies of Botha issue, created by Len Wein and John Stevenson published by Blackthorn Comics. Issue 4 was completed, and one story may have been called The Spies of Botha. 24. Tales of the Star Wars Universe This was a series of 32-page one-shots to release by Dark Horse in spring of 1998, reprinting serialized comic stories from Scholastic's Star Wars Kids magazine. They were never printed. 25. Tales of the Jedi Alternate Version Created by Tom Veitch and Kevin J. Anderson, published by Dark Horse Comics, Tom Veitch had a different story idea for Ulick Keldroma, which was solved in uh, Redemption. Ulick, a lone darksider, truly was evil, and he dies. 26. The Hatred Vector Created Unknown, published Dark Horse Comics, and it was a four-part series as a possible lead-in to the Yuzon Vong invasion in New Jedi Order book Vector Prime, and then the Vong prepare for invasion. 27. The Reenlistment of Beren Fell was about Beren of the Empire, Suntir Fell's recruitment into the Empire of the Hand, originally a six-issue story by Stackpole and Zahn, before shrinking down to four issues, Neither version was published due to the story being difficult to sell. 28. The Truce of Bakura comic adaptation, created by Unknown, published Dark Horse, was a four-part comic adaptation of the novel by Kathy Tears. Shortly after the Battle of Endor, the fledgling rebellion faces a new threat. 29. Unpublished Russ Manning newspaper comic strips, created by Russ Manning, published LA Times Syndicate, and some of the strips, a one-day rough sketch for the opening Sunday strip, two days' worth of Star Wars dailies from Gambler's World, where Luke, Leia, and the droids are on a roller coaster, six days' worth of the dailies where Luke and the droids attempt to unmask a Tusken Raider, and 30. X-Wing Rogue Squadron, The Mandalorian Candidate, Created by Michael A. Stackpole and Andy Mangles, published Dark Horse Comics. Uh, Rogue Squadron and Boba Fett team up to root out a counter agent in their ranks. And I will provide a link to Star Wars Timeline.net where I uh, where you could find a list of all of these unreleased and unpublished uh, Star Wars stories. And a couple of these I pulled from uh, Wikipedia. So, uh, yeah, you could find those in the description if you care. And there you have it. That is 30 cancelled comics. I didn't bother with the Disney canon stuff, as most people probably don't care about them. Um, this was fun to research and make. Uh, these history of videos are always fun to 
make. The next one will be on cancelled Star Wars movies and TV shows, as there's not enough of each to make one video each, but that should be a pretty epic video. So stay tuned. It's going to be out sometime in September of this year. So, And you can let me know which of these you wish would have actually got published and made. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And until next time, thanks for watching.